Hello my friends, I want to go ahead and show you how to get rid of a tree stump. Um, I want to go ahead and sh what I did is I went ahead and lowered it. So you, uh, you can see it's already lowered to the ground. Um, for this, you're going to need Epsom salt and a drill, not a drill like this because it'll just probably burn it up. Um, I have here a really heavy duty drill. I want to go ahead and use that. And um, I want to go ahead and try this type of a bit, like this one right here. Um, I also have an extender if I want to go like deeper into it than what that will allow me. Or maybe if I just don't want to bend over as much. Um, I want to go ahead and show you a time lapse of me um, <clears throat> cutting this. It's really quick um, to get it lower. And then just to kind of give you an idea of how roughly big it is, um, there's a tape measure. So let's go ahead and show you the time lapse of me uh, removing it. And then I want to jump into drilling it. my friends I have the Epsom saw here and I have the stump here um, so I have already cut it down low which is important um, one mistake like a homeowner might make is they may not cut it down low enough and it's, it's pretty low I've uh, gotten holes in it I would recommend if you are going to use the drill make sure you use one that's powerful what I <clears throat> was doing a lot was I was using like a smaller drill bit like a 3 8 and then I would jump it up to like a half and it seemed really easier to do if you drill it with the smaller one first so now that I have the holes drilled, I want to go ahead and put Epsom salt in it. I also want to go, I also went and moved some stuff around because I want to put Epsom salt around it. So let's go ahead and I'm going to need a little bit of water, um, but not to like flood it, but it helps to activate it. And basically the Epsom salt, what it does is it helps to um, get it dried out, which helps it to decompose. Okay. So if you don't want to pay someone to come in and remove your stump professionally, um, you may just want to do this. You want to get it in the holes, but then you don't want the rainwater to come in and wash it all away. So I have a tarp <clears throat> and a garbage bag right beside me. And I want to go ahead and say, I want to put it around the roots too. <clears throat> and um, I don't want the rain to take away my work. So <clears throat> here we go. And I got a little bit of water right here. I want to put on enough, not to flood it out, but I wanted to get it just to kind of like activate it, get it started. Um, kind of damp like so and there is another way um there's other ways to remove tree stumps too i might do another video make sure and sub please and i want to show you another way to uh do another video on a different way to get a tree stump out so i just wanted this a lot and then <clears throat> here we go oh i want to take a garbage bag i wanted to kind of like double do it here so i got like a garbage bag here i want to put it around like so okay just like this and then I have a tarp right here. I'm going to put it over the garbage bag. And I want to put a brick here. A brick here. And here. And here. Um, because I want to preserve my work. So if you like the video, please subscribe. Please turn on notifications. Let me know what you think. I might do a follow-up video. Um, I might do like a follow-up video. Uh, showing what it's like, like uh, later on down the road, we'll see. Let me know in the comments if you want me to do a follow-up video showing like it deteriorated, you can, you know, decompose more. Just let me know in the comments, please. And um, I may have another video coming up on how to, a different way to remove the stump. So love y'all. Please sub to our notifications. Love y'all and bye.